going to start off by placing some text on my workspace in here in all caps. I'm going to type hope. Now you may have seen similar designs. There's one with Christ, but I wanted to change things up and use a different word. So I'm using hope for the font. I'm actually going to come in and I'm going to change the font to a font called Scott's Mill Gaudi. This is what it looks like. I'm going to grab that text and I'm going to change the color to blue. And now I'm going to lock it so that it doesn't move. I'm going to place a line on my workspace. So here is a line. It is a black line. I'm going to take this line and I'm going to place it right here into the center. And I'm going to come up here to where it says stroke weight. And I'm going to make that a little bit larger just to fit the entire width of that part of the letter. I'm also going to add rounded end points like that. And for the color, I'm going to change the color to white. And I'm going to make that just a little bit thicker. So I'll go back in. I'm now going to place some more text on my workspace. And for the font, I'm going to go back and I'm going to choose this font here. It's called Child Dose Arabic. And in here, I'm going to type in all caps healing. And I'm going to grab this text and I'm going to rotate it to 90 degrees. Now, if you have a hard time rotating text, you can always come to position and arrange and down at the bottom there, you can very easily just um, change it to whatever degree rotation that you need. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to nudge it right in there. I'm going to try and make the font size the same as the width of the side of that letter. So that seems to be almost the same width. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to come to uh, alignment. I'm going to make it left aligned. I'm going to make it a little bit larger like that. And now I'm going to come up here to the advanced settings and I'm going to increase the letter spacing to 107. I'm now going to change the color to blue to match the color of the font of the word hope. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not using the feature for text effect and the background option, it's because I have more control with using lines in customizing the thickness. I'm going to go to position. I'm going to select that line. I'm going to duplicate that line and I'm going to bring it over here. Now I know you can't really see the line. So what I'll do is I'll select the background and I'm going to change it to a light gray just so that we can see that line. I'm going to rotate it. And I'm going to come up here to line type and I'm going to change it to curved. And I'll just curve it a little bit. For my next word, I'm just going to take a duplicate of this word healing. I'll rotate it. And I'm going to place it right here. And I'm going to change it to optimism. Grab that and I'm just going to try and center it as best as I can. I'm now going to go to effects and I'm going to curve it and I'm just going to reduce the curve a little bit so that it fits nicer inside of that white space. So there it is right there. I'm going to go back to position. I'm going to grab that rounded line. I'm going to take a duplicate and I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to rotate it. And I want it to be right there. And I'm going to make this line a little bit thicker. I'm now going to grab this text here. I'm going to make a duplicate. And in here, I'm going to type perseverance. Now, per 
Pers it's pers I hope I'm spelling this right. Perseverance. So I'm going to grab that and we're going to try and place it right in there and curve it. So let's go back to effects. We're going to go to curve and I'm just going to curve it a little bit more. Now I know this probably doesn't look super good right now, but hang in there. I'll show you what it's going to look like on white and we'll also make it transparent. So don't go away just yet. I'm going to go up to the advanced settings and I'm going to decrease the spacing in between the letters of perseverance, just trying to squish them in as much as possible. And I'm going to rotate that a little bit. Let's now focus on the E. So let's go to position. I'm going to take a copy of this line right here and I'm going to bring it right over here. And at the bottom, I'm just going to rotate that to fit right in there. And I'll make it a little bit shorter like that. And I'll grab this text box and I'll bring it over here. I will rotate it. And in here, I'm going to type endure. Let's bring this over here and let's go back up to advanced settings and let's decrease the spacing in between the lines. And we can even decrease the font size to make it fit better. Let's turn the background back to white so you can see what that's going to look like on a white background. And keep in mind that yes, those white lines are not transparent. In order to make this transparent, there's one more step that we need to take. So I'll come up here to share. I'm going to download this. I'll create another page while it's downloading. I'm going to grab that design and bring it back into Canva, wait for it to upload. And now I'm going to remove the background. So here it is right here. If we go back into background remover, we're going to see that it is 100% transparent. I'm going to close that. I'll just crop that a little bit. I'm going to make that a little bit larger. And now if we want, we can even add a little bit of a decoration like a cancer ribbon like this. And that's pretty much it. So what did you think of this design? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments. And if there's anything else that you want to see, fill out my tutorial request form. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, press that like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. I am starting my live classes soon in September where you'll get to design with me, ask questions, and you'll have personalized feedback on your designs when you need help. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.